database encryption for ZOS at a high level. It allows you to protect the sensitive data that is stored in database. The data that's stored in database is done at the data set level, right? The data storage data set contains the raw data. That's my employee file records, right? Becky Alvin lives in rest of Virginia. Uh, she started in September of 1987, Ooh, kind of giving that away. Uh, but anyway, the actual raw data resides on the data storage data set. The associator data set could also contain sensitive data. Any of those fields within a file that you've encrypted that's flagged as a descriptor or a key, that value, that sensitive data value is also stored in our index structures in the associator. So it's, it's going to allow you to select which data sets to encrypt. At a minimum, it's going to be data storage and associator. We'll get more into that in a second. But that's considered the data at rest. The, the actual database database is considered the data at rest. And we're going to talk about how to encrypt that coming up over the next few slides. The data in flight is as the application sends data to database or database sends data back to the application, that's the data in flight. And that's done through a different product entire network, which is product code WCP. By encrypting the database databases, you're going to be able to check the boxes for any of the rules, mandates, regulations, whatever you want to call it, around uh, encryption mandates. SOX, Sarbanes-Oxley for publicly traded companies, HIPAA for your health data, PCI for personal credit or personal information, you know, names, bank account numbers, credit card numbers, whatever. One of the bigger ones is GDPR from the European Union. It's also being used by a lot of places here in the US as well. 